Hey guys, it's George again, and I'm going to tell you another quick story. Uh, not as long as the last one. I'm sure by now you know that the East Coast just recently got hammered, or, well, more like bent over by a huge snowstorm. And unfortunately, in some parts of South Jersey, uh, it, it was a lot worse than Sandy. Flooding was pretty ridiculous. Uh, on another note, where I'm at, I only got about a foot and a half of snow. It wasn't that bad. Other places got two foot, maybe even more down in Virginia, maybe Maryland area, they got pretty bad too. Two years ago when we got hit by the snow, the snow was perfect for uh, making snowman and, and design, like different sculptures and stuff, so uh, naturally me and my sister went outside and we made a zombie snowman kind of scene, you know, put blood all over them and torn clothes, and it just looked a little horrific and I'm sure the neighborhood kids weren't too happy, or their parents, one of the two. Here's a picture of it, uh, it's nothing nothing special but it was fun for us this year it wasn't good enough for making anything at least in my yard the snow wasn't uh, I tried packing it together to make more snowman maybe I was gonna do some kind of other scene uh, I also tried doing a an, an igloo um, that didn't work out e either it wasn't it just wasn't good enough snow for me after the storm me and Steve went to his place and behind his house is a like a small forest it's just enough woods that you can go in it and hike around for a while and not see any civilization which is nice after a snowstorm because it's untouched snow meaning there's no footprints there's no uh plows that destroy there's not that disgusting black tar or from the roads all over the, the snow it's just it's a beautiful scenery while we were hiking steve had told me that under the snow was swampland but the swamp wasn't that deep and that because of the snow you can usually just walk right over it and not get, you know, submersed at all. And I was like, oh, okay, I believe him, he's my best friend, of course I'm gonna believe him. So we're walking and next thing you know, I take a step down and I hear from a very faintly underneath the snow, uh, I hear a crack and it went spread around a radius of maybe about 10 feet around me. And I look back at Steve and go, do you hear that? And right as I said that, sure enough, I fell right through the ice. Uh, it wasn't that deep. Fortunately, I didn't get soaking wet, but I did it did go up to just about above my knees, which was horrific. I smashed my shins against the ice, so they're all bruised up, which is, you know, no fun. I quickly jumped out, as fast as you could probably jump out, and I, 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 my foot didn't get that wet. Only a little water went in, and it wasn't that bad. So I said, you know what, I think we can keep going. And after a few minutes, my foot was actually warm, or the water that was in my boot was warm. So it was fine. Maybe... I don't know, 15 minutes later, Steve fell through the ice, and then 10 minutes after that, I fell through the ice, and then he fell through the ice, and we decided at that point that we were just not having any good luck. So we decided, hey, it's time to skedaddle, we'll go out, we'll go back to the house, and we'll call it quits. And that's what we did. Fortunately, we still had fun, as always, you gotta make the best of it. This was just a quick story, just to uh, get some content on the channel, uh, just so you know, guys, it's really hard to get a lot of views, um, I don't have that many. I don't have many subscribers, but if you could please do this when I post it on Twitter, please retweet it. When I post it on Facebook, please, please, please share it. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps a lot. And I'll catch you guys later.